What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. And this time, we're taking a look at You Don't Mess with the Zohan, starring Adam Sandler, directed by Dennis Dugan. Okay, let's waste no time. Let me make this review as short and sweet as I possibly can. Overall, I like Don't Mess with the Zohan. I don't think this is one of Adam Sandler's greatest movies, but I enjoy it for what it was. It's a stupid, silly comedy movie about this uh, Israeli counterterrorist who gets fed up with with his with his life as a as a spy and wants to move to uh america to become a hairstylist much to the chagrin of his parents so he does this by virtually faking his own death <clears throat> and while in america he becomes a hairstylist while all the while having to hide his identity for who he from of what he truly is and also coming into conflict with several people who just you know, have a grudge against him that's basically what this movie's about it's basically just <clears throat> it's basically just an adam sandler uh, an adam sandler vehicle for him just to do stuff now is this movie 100 percent funny no it's not it does have some jokes that don't really land does it have a lot of stereotyping in terms of how it handles the israelis and palestinians yes it does <clears throat> but it, it is what it is this was this was made in 2008 so it was more they're, they're more like caricatures so if yeah if you watch it now with a 2024 lens yeah you're gonna feel like you're gonna be like oh this movie's offensive and stuff like that but if you just watch it for what it is it's just a stupid, harmless, silly comedy. That's all this movie is. It's just it's, it's a harmless comedy. It's not looking to make any political statements or shit or stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, I like Adam Sandler as a comedian, but yeah, he can be very hit and miss with a lot of his roles. And Zohan is one of those categories where it can go into the hit and miss, where it can be hit in a lot of areas and a miss in a lot of areas. But in terms of how he portrays the character of Zohan, I think he's funny. I like him. I like the whole idea of him being a super soldier. I like how this movie more or less is a, is a satire of movies like that. <clears throat> and I like the whole idea of him wanting to have a normal life and by being, by being a hairstylist. And this also, this happens when he comes across a woman by the name of Dahlia, played by Emmanuel Truqui, who is the owner of a, of a little nail, of a little hair salon. Of course, this leads to the whole running joke of him not only being a hairstylist, but also him, let's just say, having some extra activities with the clientele. Making them go home with more than just a, with more than just a haircut, <clears throat> you know, that joke kind of ran its course after like the first few times where it stopped being funny of him constantly banging everybody. Um, he meets up with uh, one of the first people he meets is the, the Nick Swardson character, and he bangs his mom multiple times. <clears throat> you know, the first time he, he walks in on them is funny, but then the joke kind of kind of then the joke kind of ran its course after the first. <clears throat> so like, like I said, the humor is very hit and miss. Uh, Aside from Adam Sandler, they got strong, good enough supporting cast, like Emmanuel Trocoy, who plays Dahlia. She's the love interest. She's fine in the role. She plays a Palestinian woman. The movie does touch on that, on the real-life tension between Israelis and Palestinians and how they don't mix. And they use America as a neutral ground where everyone gets along. <clears throat> so that was okay, in a way. Uh, Rob Schneider. I like Rob Schneider. I'm one of the few people who actually like Rob Schneider, and I actually think he's funny. In this movie... He does have some. He plays like a caricature of a of a Palestinian, of a of an Arab, and some parts is funny, other parts is not. He has his whole he has his whole grudge against Zohan because he stole his goat. <clears throat> like yeah, that you can put into the category of that's not funny, that's just stupid. <clears throat> but I do like Rob Schneider. Uh, the other supporting cast the movie is the other supporting cast mates are fine as well. John Totoro plays this character Phantom, who is the arch nemesis to the Zohan. Uh, if anything, this movie did not have enough John Totoro because I like John Totoro as an actor, and even though he wasn't all the way, even though he wasn't you know uh, uh, all that great in this movie, he was funny, and I do like the third act where he and Zohan team up to take on a greater Emmy enemy, which is the Michael Buffer character, which is Michael Buffer, the ring announcer Michael Buffer, who plays like this evil businessman who wants to more or less create a mall in the center of the city, <clears throat> and he does this by instigating a race war with the help of uh, Dave Matthews who cameos as a uh, white supremacist type of dude <clears throat> like it makes fun of it it's funny in a way like I mean it's like this movie it is what it is it's 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 a movie that's <laughs> it's a culturally insensitive movie it is not high art it's flat out stupid but it makes fun of itself and it makes fun of the whole idea of everything so I give the movie that it doesn't really have it doesn't it has a story that kind of goes all over the place it has too many subplots 
there are some scenes that are actually decently directed like this like the uh like zohan doing his stuff as an action hero but then there are scenes where he's doing like you know scenes of parkour and the joke goes on longer than it should and it kind of becomes just like okay can we hurry up already <clears throat> like i said you don't mess with the zohan as a movie that can go in that that can fit in the direction of either hit or miss I, I, to me it's more middle of the ground it's a movie that has more misses and it does hits but it's also not a horrible movie at all like you you, you can watch this movie and get a couple of laughs out of it and you'll be just fine if this movie does have a problem it is it goes on for nearly two hours and this movie did not need to be two hours you could told the story in like a, a, a 90 minute movie and it, excuse me and it would have been just fine like this, you don't mess with the zohan did not need to be close to two hours long because the story is telling isn't really all that spectacular and it's not and it, it and it's just stretched out and like i said when you stress and when this movie because it's so stretched out it feels like it a lot of the jokes and a lot of the gags you could have cut them down just by um, just by a minute or so and the movie would have had a much better pacing instead of it, it the jokes can, a lot of jokes can go and that's why a lot of the jokes get repeated a lot in this movie because it it's trying to fill a runtime and it feels bloated in a way <clears throat> uh and you also have some other things in this movie that are whatever like the this movie has like a bunch of celebrity cameos and they don't really do anything it's just like a oh hey it's that oh hey it's her type of situation uh and the love story between zohan and dahlia is okay like the movie those are those are twists that you have heard being the phantom's brother so take that for what it is <clears throat> and the whole but i do like the whole running gag of zohan's parents being against him want to be a hairstylist but the whole thing of him being called a fagula and then all his peers also call him that when he, when he comes to America and tells them what he wants to do there. Like, that joke actually did get some chuckles out of me. A lot of the other jokes, they're hit and miss. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say about You Don't Mess With The Zohan. At the end of the day, I'm going to give the movie a solid 5 out of 10. It's okay for what it is. It's not Adam Sandler's best work, but it's not his worst work. But, yeah, this movie did come out in, this movie did come out in 2008. And that's when Sandler was pretty much on the decline in terms of his comedy movies because by this point, you can see that he was one-dimensional. So yeah, 5 out of 10 for You Don't Mess With The Zohan. Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections down below. Like the video and subscribe. And I'll check you back next time for more.